In this video, I will demonstrate that how we can run our React Native CLI project on our Android device which is a physical device and also on emulator and what, what kind of steps are involved in uh, enabling debugging on our physical phone, physical device so that we can run our project like this one is running on my physical device and this is my first very basic react native CLI project and it's running on my phone so let's see how we can do this we can navigate into the directory of react native CLI project and we can run our project with the help of npx react native run android command so run android will actually run our react native CLI project in uh, android emulator and uh, it will launch android emulator so the first time when you run react native um, CLI project it will take a bit longer because it will uh, download all the gradle files which are actually related to android development and uh, it will take some time and definitely need to have a very good uh, internet connection but it, that's uh, only a one time process after that once the gradle is uh, installed you don't need to or the or the or the project does not actually download gradle files every time so after that once the gradle build is ready uh, you can run your emulator so let's wait for the application so whenever you run the application application actually installs into the emulator So our project is running now in um, Android emulator. This is our uh, very basic uh, React Native CLI project, which is a bit different than Expo CLI because in Expo CLI we have only one statement over here, and uh, uh, but uh, this is the uh, React Native, and uh, it's a bit more uh, different than that, but our react native cli project is running now to run your react native cli on your physical device you need to install usb drivers for this you can go into sdk manager and uh, over here if you go into sdk tools and you see google usb driver so it's installed on uh, uh, my machine you can install the usb driver from here it will take a bit time to download and install the drivers so once the drivers are installed you can run your react native cli project on your physical device uh, through through connection of your usb cable you need to enable debugging usb debugging on your uh, physical device in order to run your or debug your projects uh, uh, created through react native cli so i'm using visor to view my device so this is my physical device and i will go into the settings and in settings you need to go into the last section which is about So in about phone you need to go down or somewhere you, it will depend depending upon uh, the the device and the android version so in the build number you tap several times and uh, if your uh, developer mode is not enabled and developer tools are not available it will become available so it is saying that you don't need to do that because it's already I'm all already a developer of my phone actually so so you, you see a developer options over here in developer options is one thing is that you need to enable this that I am I want to use this phone for the development 
and the thing is that you need to enable USB debugging and the third important thing is that you need to uh, set the USB configuration that when you connect your device you actually connect through a media transfer protocol so these are three things that you need to do in order to debug uh, your uh, application uh, react native or even android applications through your US usb debugging and you see that uh, a small icon over here uh, which actually tells that this phone is currently in a debugging usb debugging so you can see over here that it's saying that usb debugging connected and it's ready for the debugging through usb so i have connected my phone through usb so that's how you do and you need to enable this after installing the USB driver through your Android Studio SDK tools. Once USB debugging has been enabled on your phone and you have connected your phone through USB cable, you can verify that your device is available uh, for the deployment of your project and for debugging. You can run ADB devices and a list of devices will appear over here. So this is the device that is available. You can also go to the guide available uh, on React Native official documentation. So running on the device and for Android and for iOS the documentation actually available. Running on your Android device is uh, enabled debugging over USB so these are the guidelines available and uh, that's what I have demonstrated and you can see the list of uh, devices and then you can run your application through run Android so I will just type in or copy or just paste this so I'm inside the directory of uh, react native CLI project and I'm running the project and I'm expecting that this project will run and an apk file will appear on my phone so let's do this so apk has been generated and it's copied on my phone over here now device is uh, available and it's running on my machine on my device and uh, you can see that it's uh, the main activity which is running on my phone and you see it's saying that uh, if i make changes it's available and if i scroll from my device so these are some examples available let's say for example about style and it will navigate on the style documentation and uh, like this so this is our uh, react native cli application running on uh, our physical device and the uh, usb debugging is actually enabled and that's how it is and uh, uh, it's uh, running fine the one thing is that if your emulator and your physical device are both are connected then that is a, that that is the problem so you need to have uh, at least one device running either emulator or your physical device so let's uh, explore uh, some of the uh, code of uh, react native cli the directory structure and so on so in this video we have learned that how we can run our react native cli project on emulator and on our physical device we have learned that how we can connect our physical device through usb uh, cable and how we can enable debugging how we can install usb driver through through android sdk tool manager and we have successfully run our basic very first react native cli project in next video we will learn that how we can modify basic react native cli project so see you in next video